إن أعجبك الفيديو لا تنسى الإعجاب والاشتراك في القناة شكرا لا ولا إله إلا الله اللهم صل وسلم وبارك على سيدنا محمد وعلى آله وصحبه أجمعين We have newcomers here today Hello, okay. welcome to the newcomer We missed you for a long time طلع هون طيب طلع هون اللهم أديني في مساء أقول I hope what I'm gonna be telling you guys today gonna be informative enough okay فأطلب من الله الهداية إن شاء الله. أمين يا رب. Okay. And since we have a long talk today, so I'm gonna either take a longer time or talk twice as fast. And well, since we cannot take fast. longer time, I'm gonna talk twice as fast. Yes. And for that reason, please be quiet and save your questions, good questions, after I'm done. حضرة Okay. And anybody is gonna talk during my talk, my talk, I'm gonna kick him out. Okay. Again, I'm emphasizing the same, same concept, okay? قال الله سبحانه وتعالى وما خلقت الجن والإنس إلا ليعبدون يعبدون يعني واحدون and also يعبدون to do things which make him pleased with us okay? So what we're doing is one, one example of worship We've, we, we, we prayed and we did everything, and now we are looking at the galaxies and we're looking at the greatness of the creation of Allah. So we're continuing on, our, on that path. So today we're going to be talking about Zahra or Venus. Which color you want? The, the blue one is good. Blue, the red one, supposed to be. Blue, blue. blue. Okay, Venus. So we make a trip to Venus. which is Zahra. Female, female planet, okay? Uh, this is Zahra is here, which is the third planet, second planet from, from the sun. The first one was Mercury, the second is Venus, okay? The names is Zahra, all will notice that uh, the, all the names of the planets are coming from Roman names, Romans, okay? I forgot to mention this, last time the Mercury, the Roman name of Mercury is, means the God who ran so fast. Why they, why they said it like that, I don't really know, okay? This one here means the goddess of love. And beauty. Mm. So from the name you can you can expect that it's gonna be very hot. Right? Yeah. It's gonna be hot. Okay. It's a love and beauty. So we're gonna have a hot one here. Okay. If you look at this Venus from from the Earth, it looks like yellowish white. A little, if you if you spot it from the Earth, we could spot all those things in the, from the Earth, by the way. Okay, we don't really have to go there to see. Sometimes they show if they are in the path of our sight, we can see it. It's yellowish white from the Earth. If we come close to it, it's reddish brown color. Okay, that God is. Age is an old one, so the age of this one is similar, all of them almost like about, about 4.5 billion years. Okay, and it, it's spaced from the sun, how far it is from the sun, and again, as I said before, it's an average thing. about 67 million miles. How far is the Earth from the sun? 93 million. 93 million. Okay, so this is 93 million. This is 67 million. And that was, I think, was 47 million, something like that, if I remember. Okay. As I said before, all the planets rotate around 
around the sun, almost this is the sun. And the planets rotating around the sun in almost circular one. Okay, it's a little bit elliptical, but almost circular. So all of them like that. Okay. Except the Pluto, this is the odd guy. Okay. Pluto rotates in an elliptical one. Hmm. This plot. Okay. And they are all all these orbits are coplanar, okay, on the same plane. You see what I mean? All of them on the same plane. Plot a little bit about inclined to the plane, 17 degrees from the other one. So all of them, they are all rotating this one. Hmm. Plot properly rotating like that. And oh. this one, okay, this is just information. Okay, the temperature here on, 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 uh, on Venus, Temperature is about 870. What? 870 degrees Fahrenheit. Very hot. Very hot. Okay. We've seen before that Mercury, Mercury was was about 800. Although Mercury is closer than Venus, closer to the Sun than Venus, but this is one. The reason is Mercury has an atmosphere, very thin atmosphere. Venus has thick atmosphere. So the thick atmospheres absorb the heat and retains it. So it keeps the, the planet a little bit high. So because of the thickness, of the atmosphere surrounding the planet, this one is hotter than this one. Just slightly hotter, okay? Oh, I didn't bring the, the eraser. Somebody please bring it from the, from the drawer. Thank you. Thank you. Okay. So the, so the temperature here, we said it's about 870 degrees Fahrenheit. And again, it gets cold, cooler than that. It depends on the rotation and its relative position to the sun. When it sees the sun, it, okay, when it's really direct facing the sun, it's gonna be that high temperature. So this max, maximum temperature, actually. Okay? The temperature not change in the sun? No, it change. Change? Oh, change. Yeah, it's better to go to winter or summer. <laughs> <laughs> well, it's Venus. I mean, she's inviting. You can go anytime you want. Okay. As long as she likes that. Okay. It weighs about the weight of the of the of that uh, planet, about eighty-two percent of the weight of theirs. Okay. So they call, they call Earth and Venus are twin sisters. They are, they are almost the same weight, almost the same size, almost the same size, just slightly smaller than this one, than Earth, okay? About that, okay? But that's just in, in, in people just named it this way. Now the amazing thing here is how long is the one year on this on the on the planet? One year, which is the the time it takes to rotate around the sun, make one round around the sun. One year is about two hundred twenty-five days, so it's shorter than ours, Earth day. Shorter than our year. Now look at this, the one one day on the planet is about 243 days, Earth days. What does it mean? The day is longer than the year, right? The day is longer than the year. 
means what? So it takes longer time to rotate around its own axis before it makes one turn around the sun. Why? I don't know. God created this way. He has his own wisdom. We don't, I don't really know. Okay? The atmosphere on this one, as I said before, it's a thick atmosphere. It has nitrogen, mainly nitrogen, carbon dioxide, and some clouds with clouds, has some droplets of with some droplets, drops. Not of water, of sulfuric acid. Yes. <laughs> and because of the thickness of the atmosphere, it trapped the heat, as I said. And probably there was water there. Because of the heat, everything has been evaporated. So there is no sign of water. As I said before, the only planet which they have found water on it, and that's why there is a life on it, is Earth. Okay? Alhamdulillah. The pressure is about 90 times the pressure on Earth. Do you know how much is the pressure on, on, on the Earth? Atmospheric pressure? About how many psi? Any number? 14.7. Okay, so I'll let you do the math. 14. Okay. 14 times about 14 times 100, so almost. Okay, about 1400 psi, almost. Okay. The surface of on this one, the surface of the planet itself is rocky, rocky surface. Oh. All of those planets which are terrestrial planets, which are from here to the Earth, okay, they are mostly, the surface is rocky. From here to here, the surface is going to be gaseous, gases. You cannot stand on it. There is nothing. There is no, no ground on it. Okay? It has lots of volcanoes. Okay? And the volcanoes, size of the volcanoes can range between half a mile to 150 miles. Okay. This is a lady, right? So it has to do something opposite to volcanoes. the human nature, right? It has to do something with human nature. What is the opposite to the human nature? All the planets rotate around the sun Counterclockwise or clockwise? Counter. Okay. And around counterclockwise. And around its own axis, also around counterclockwise. Except Venus. Venus rotates around its own axis. Okay? Clockwise. That's the oddness of that one. Not only Venus, Uranus. When we talk about Uranus in here, okay, it also rotates around its own axis. But maybe it's still rotating around the sun in counterclockwise. Mm -hmm. so, so it rotates around its own axis. This is Venus around its own axis, okay? Count, uh, clockwise. Oh, uh, Venus is a lady. Oh, it's a lady, it's the oddness. How odd? <laughs> How odd? <laughs> rotates around the axis in clockwise rotation. I'm done with Venus. Indeed. Now, now let's erase the board now and we make our big trip now. So you guys, you guys are ready now to go to the, the red planet? Yes or no? Yes. yes. So we're gonna we're gonna take off to Mars. Okay, we're gonna go to Mars. Okay. Mars is not really that far, okay? I mean, it's close, close to the Earth than all of those things, okay? So our trip will be shorter. No drink coffee. Drink coffee. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. Okay. <laughs> We're going to go to Mars in here. We'll go to Venus. Mars. So what is the Arabic translation of Mars? Al Marih. Al Marih. Al Marih al Bursaidi. The Al Marih. 
okay? And what is the Roman name of it? It's the god, the guy of war. Oh. So that planet is really unfriendly planet. Freezing sometimes, windy, stormy, lots of storm dust, okay? And has, it is quiet, but there is, you hear the howling sound of the storm. Okay? It's a war. It's a, it's a, it's a, it's a, it's a, it's a war, okay? It is the fourth planet from the, from the sun. Oh. Right? Is this the fourth? Did I count correct? One, two, Mercury, Venus, Earth, and, and Mars. Okay? The temperature on this one, it ranges between minus 190 degrees Fahrenheit, so it's very cold, and it can reach up till 98 degrees so it's almost can be up till in the high temperature range almost like our our planet almost okay but doesn't that doesn't mean that we can live there because you can live when it's here but how can how about how about when it's here, when it's here okay so the volume of this planet okay is about so this diagram is not really exactly correct. So it's about 15% of the volume of Earth. <clears throat> okay. The weight of the planet is about 10% of the weight of Earth. So it's a little, little bit less dense on it. Okay, now, one year on this planet, One year is about two Earth years. So it's about 600 days, about. And one day is 24.6 hours. So almost like ours, like our time. But the year is really long. Okay, so it takes a longer time to get around the sun more than the Earth. Okay. The speed the travels by speed around the sun, average again, okay, about 50,000 miles per hour. I, I, I informed some of my friends when we had the social talking, you know, and I said something wrong, I want to correct myself to whoever I told them that when I said the speed, the shuttle speed can reach 400 miles per hour. I think, I think that is wrong. I, I looked it up again. I think the maximum speed for the shuttle was about 20,000 miles per hour. Okay, so the 400 was really Yachal Allah, that was really <laughs> exaggerated. 20,000, average, 18,000, 20,000, 24,000, something like that. Apollo 11, when it went to, Apollo, it went, when it went to the moon, with, the average speed was about 24,000 miles per hour, okay? You usually need, when it, when it launches, you need very high speeds to avoid, to, to, to resist the gravity of theirs. And once you are there, you don't really need that much speed. How many years are it going to take the one trip to Mars? How many days on Mars? Oh, on Mars? I, 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 will, I will give you a trip now, okay. and I'm going to look for volunteers to go. Okay? But to the moon, it takes about... They went to the moon already. Apollo 11 landed on the moon, and there's astronaut, there's Neil Armstrong, and the Collins, and all of those guys were still... They were there. It took them about three to four days. I, I trust you, doctor, that some people, they deny that. No, no, no. People going to the moon. No. I think it's... it's, it's Do the mushrikeen. Uh, Al-mushrikeen. <laughs> 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 
Yeah, yeah. Well, yeah. Well, they, they try to, <laughs> yes, to, yes, to, yes, to yes. distribute they, this information. They say, yeah, I, I heard that. They say yeah. the flag was, was, was waving like that. You know, and there is no air, no atmosphere there, and probably they put a fan behind. You know, I mean, the Photoshop all in the studio, and they put a fan. No, they they went and they got they got samples from the moon, and they studying the samples in the moon in the lab and everything. It's a true fact that happened July 16, 1969. Okay, there were so many Apollos, thirteen Apollos. Okay, one of them, which is a successful landing, was Apollo eleven. Yeah. All other ones were really rotating around, around the moon, okay? Why the moon? The moon is very close. It's really very sensitive. It's very close trip, yeah. just like, like from here to McDonald's, okay? It's, 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 about, it's about 400, it's about 400 miles, I think. Affordative information. Yeah. I think so. Making I think, stuff for the moon. No, I, th I think it's about, uh, it's about 200, the moon, yeah. from the Earth. Very short distance, about 240,000 miles. Yeah. With the scales of the planets we're talking about, this is really nothing. I mean, we're talking millions. Going to the bathroom, coming back. Yeah, this is like a short trip, just going like that. Okay? So, as I said, this one, the God of Wars, and is known, is known as the Red Planet. Why red planet? It's really, if you come close to it, or you observe it from close distance, it's ready, reddish, okay, it's reddish, okay? And the, the color red because the soil has some iron oxide, okay? So, because it has the soil, or the ground of it has some iron oxide, and has some rust there, some of the iron rusted there. Okay, so you, those are those are having like reddish color. That's why you see the majority of the color is almost like red. And I said, as I said before, as I said before, the surface is dusty, stormy, storm, lots of storm, this Mars, and has lots of volcanoes. Wow. And very deep valleys. Did we? Did they ever manage to anybody to land on 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 Mars? Not yet. No, not yet. Not yet. The plan. The plan. NASA put a plan that they are planning. Okay, that they're gonna land there in night in 2030. Plan. will come. On 20, 30, to have a man <coughs> to land on, on, on Mars. That's a plan, okay? But was there anything landed on, the, on, the, on, on Mars? Yes, there are so many rovers landed there, okay? Robots, they robots. send the robots, say, oh. stay there, okay? Some of them stay like two years, some stay like six years, some still still active up till now. Okay, something is going to be continuous. They said, why they are sending those things to Mars? Yeah. Because they want to study if there is a life there. Is it possible that people can la live there? Is there first of all, is there water there? If there is water, then then they can focus and condense their studies. Okay, and because it is stormy and dusty and all of that stuff, most of the rovers they send them to stay maybe five years. They they break down. They break down in two years and no, and no longer fit. So there probably would be like a piece of junk over there. Okay? All the rovers, how they get their energy? They have solar cells. Okay? And when the solar cells need to be activated, so it has to face the sun. Okay? So as long as the rover is really facing the sun, okay, the solar cells are active, it's working. But when, when, when it moves away and it doesn't see the sun, no energy, so it dies. Okay, so it dies because it loses the, the energy from the sun because of the solar cells no longer be activated, and also because of the storm and you know the dust and all of that stuff just corrupted. Okay, surface gravity, the gravity on this one, on on, on Mars, gravity is about 
38% of the gravity on, 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 uh, on Earth. What does it mean, gravity? Why do we talk about all of the terms? When I tell you how much you weigh, you're telling me 180 pounds. Actually, the question is not really correct. It's how much is your mass, mass, okay? Mass, <laughs> I'm gonna say something, you know? Everybody's gonna kill me. <laughs> okay. Newton's second law, it says the force is equal to the mass times the acceleration, okay? On Earth, the acceleration here is acceleration of gravity. Of the gravity. Okay? 980 centimeter per square, second squared, okay? Yes, we know that. So, when you wait, wait, is a force, but mass is kilogram. This is this is kilogram. This is your mass. This is Newton units. Okay, but since we don't measure force, there's nothing measure force. Measure mass always. So the scale in your bathroom, it is in kilogram or in pound. Okay, but. It's calibrated and we can convert that into weight. So your weight will be your mass, which you see it in here, times the acceleration of gravity, okay? So there's a difference between mass and weight, okay? So now, the gravity here is 38%. So if the gravity on Earth is like say 100, okay? So this one will be about 40, correct? So if you weigh 100 pounds on Earth, on Mars, you, you will weigh what? Not your weight. Your mass will be 40, 40 pounds. Okay, so it's the less gravity. Okay? So, thank God nobody killed me. Does this one have moons around it? it has two moons rotating around it. There's the first one has moons, the second one. The Earth has how many moons? One. one. One, which we know it. And Mars has two moons. And we'll see later on, and some of those things have maybe 60 moons, 20 oh. moons around it. Okay? 60 moons. Uh, and the pressure on it is about 100, 100. The pressure on this one is about 100 of the pressure on Earth. So it's about 0.147 psi. Okay, now I'm coming to the most interesting thing now. All right, let's plan a mission. Just give me a few minutes. Let's plan a mission. I'm gonna take. I'm gonna violate the rule today. Just give me a few minutes. We're gonna plan a mission to Mars. Or we can make it next time. Okay, how about you guys? Can we just two minutes more? Yeah, yeah, two more. Okay, two minutes more. Okay, okay. Yeah. we're gonna make it, we're gonna make it, yes, a trip to more. to more. Okay, here is here is the sun. Here is the orbit of the Earth. This is the Earth. Okay, and here is the orbit of Mars. Hmm. Mars. I want to go from here to here. Okay, so I'm going to start from here. So this is the start. Launch from here. Okay? This one rotates and this one rotates. So at a certain time, they come very close, the closest time. So that's what they call it, the window. When it's really close, go. Okay, so we will wait till the distance between Mars and Earth, the closest, which is 55 million years, 55 million miles. This is the closest, okay? And we go. We go here, so that's what we're going. That trip takes nine months. When it's closest, okay? Now, 
Anybody ready to go for nine months? I have a question okay. about this. Yes. Yani, when you say the doctor, uh, when it's closest, this is what they call it, the window, to go up, yeah. right? The, and it's, this a window, the, it's a window for the flight, because I don't want to really go when it's really like... And this is what the Quran said. Million. Yes. This is what the Quran said, subhanAllah. Thank Quran you. Quran talk this, about this. That, yes. When we open the gate for them, for them to go up, they will go up. Yes. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. This is exactly what the doctor said. Yes. Yeah. SubhanAllah. Oh, so nine months, yeah. just to go and to come back. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. SubhanAllah. Mars when it's really closest to the Earth, okay? Now, can I come back right away? Because this one's gonna move, Yeah. also. It's gonna be moving. So the person who already managed to stay here, he has, he has to wait mm. two years. Yeah. Why two years? Mm -hmm. Because the door will be open. <laughs> two years. Because yes. we said, yes. didn't we say that the year, the one rotation of this one around the sun, it takes two years? Yeah. So to come back to the closest position to the, relative to the earth, yeah. he has to wait two years. So he has to wait two years, this one to come here. SubhanAllah. Yeah. That's two years. Yeah. He cannot go anywhere. Yes. And after two years, okay, we'll tell him come back to earth. Come back to earth. <laughs> So you want nine months to go? <laughs> to go from from Earth to to Mars and then two years or twenty-four months stay on on Mars and then you need nine months more to return back. To return to Earth. So, any volunteers who would like to stay that long? And you will go. You're gonna go there. Okay. I'm providing the tickets. If anybody wants going, providing the tickets. Okay. So this is the this is a trip. They are this is this is hypothetical trip. Of course, nobody did it. Okay. But if if one day in the future that's gonna be feasible. Okay, that they're gonna find somebody who's gonna willing to stay that long. That's gonna what it takes him to do. There were so many rovers I said landed around it, uh, uh, orbited around Mars, and some of them landed there. They have so many names: the Vikings and Superiority and Spirits and Mir A and Mir B. Mir means Mars Exploration Rover, M E R. Mm -hmm. M E R. So all of the vehicles are calling them Mir Mars Exploration Rover. Okay. So many of them landing there, landed on the, but they get destroyed, so become inactive. Some of them still active up till now. Okay. And uh, and and by doing that, I am done with the two planets, and we'll think about that big giant guy here over there, and probably I'll, I'll talk about those things quickly next Jupiter. time. And the following week, in two weeks from today, probably we're gonna say, why God chose Earth for us? What's so beautiful about Earth among all of these things to live on? Allah <laughs> Question, question. Ah, okay. Now, now we will open.